It's my one year anniversary stationery haul and everything I have in this haul will be in reviews in the coming weeks and linked in the description box below. So the first thing I have are the Sakura Jelly Roll Metallic Gel Pins and I have the 16 pack. I believe they have 14 metallic colors in total and they just gave me an extra gold and an extra silver. And I've been wanting to try out Jelly Rolls for a long time because these are like the original kind of gel, gel pen. And they're just really like popular and known for their smoothness and I really really enjoyed these metallic pens. And here are the swatches on black paper and I just thought that they looked so so pretty and i'm gonna have more jelly rolls later on so i got these two chalk markers from target for one dollar and so they're 50 cents each and so i didn't realize that they were chalk markers i actually thought they were paint markers so they were not quite as opaque as i hoped but they still were pretty nice because they were translucent um i have used them in several art pieces um and it was really nice to have the special translucents. And then these are the Uniball Signo Broad in white, gold, and silver. I've just been wanting the white gel pen for a long time, so I decided to buy this pack in order to get that as well as some bonus pens. It was cheaper anyway. Um, and here are the Sakura Jelly Roll um, gold outline. So these are just five colors with a gold outline. It doesn't really show up that well with the outline on black paper, so I'll show swatches of it on white paper these were also really smooth and i also really thought that these were cool and then after this one we have a pack of 14 gel pens from five below they're like mini gel pens and they are i think seven neon and seven glitter gel pens these are really smooth and they're really really tiny and i really liked them and i also really like the glitter ones because they were super duper glittery and I think that, you know, I didn't really like the neon colors as much because I don't, just generally don't like neon colors. Let me know what you think of neon colors in the description box, or in the comments below. Um, I mean, I think a good alternative to gel pens when it comes to normal gel pens are the paper ink joys, but these are cool because they're like smaller and therefore they are like more convenient to bring with you and also these are glitter gel pens i do have other glitter gel pens from five below um that are like the normal size as well as some from the u brands and i have reviews of those on my channel so i'll link those in the cards as well um and yeah i'm just this video is so cool because it's like kind of weird that i've had this channel for a year i don't know so I was really happy that I could do this stationery haul because last year I did um, a stationery haul, although the video is pretty bad, so I don't recommend that you watch that video. There are a lot of other videos on my channel that I am actually like really like, but that one, as being my first video, it was really bad and the audio was not that great. So I needed a water brush pen, so I got this Pentel Aquash brush pen and it's like really really nice and really really springy as you can see i'm doing some calligraphy with it and it just um it just carries the water so nicely this is i think the sequoia koi watercolor i'm using with it i just had a palette of it so i used it in this video and this was a really springy one and water brushes are just so useful i really needed one i lost the one i got with my ohuhu natural aqua brush markers which are really good natural brush mark watercolor markers they're really good and i highly recommend them and i have a review if you've not watched that and then here are the zebra cure reach highlighters i've been wanting these for some time they're sparkly and i got these on clearance for five dollars at target they're normally like eleven dollars so i decided to buy them and i'm really happy i did so now i have the last thing in this haul the king art brush markers these are watercolor brush markers and they remind me a lot of the art 101 brush markers these were those were one of the first brush pens i reviewed on this channel and honestly using these kind of like reminded me of them so they were pretty okay i did not appreciate the highlighter yellow though but other than that these markers were pretty average at best but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video if you like this video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and hit the bell i make new videos on stationery calligraphy and art every monday and make sure to check the description box below for more videos to watch while you wait for next week's video don't forget to hit that like button Oh my gosh i can't believe i've been on youtube for an entire year but thank you guys again so much for watching and remember to have a happy monday bye bye